Oh, dude. Hey, what's up guys? So today I thought it'd be fun if I just took you through a production from start to finish on a music video I am shooting with Hugh Lindsay, a good friend of mine, super talented artist. Uh, we did Wait For Me If You Will last year. Um, so if you haven't seen that music video or the behind the scenes, please go check that out and show some support uh, over on his YouTube and mine. And uh, make sure you follow him on Spotify, check him out, uh, give him a few streams and uh, yeah, follow him on TikTok, Instagram, all the stuff, and uh, make sure you support him. I'll link all of that below in the description so you guys can can go support Hugh and his music. So yeah, we're uh, doing another music video with Hugh, and this one's called Halloween. The song's already out on Spotify, but uh, we were supposed to make the music video last fall and release it right before Halloween. So that didn't happen because of COVID. So yeah, we're basically back at it, uh, starting production finally. And um, I'm gonna take you along with me on the ups and downs and the stress and fun of shooting music videos. But yeah, so I filmed this more vloggy style and just kind of like as I went along um, to really just take you along the journey and just kind of like what goes on with, you know, no BS, no staging. Uh, just straight up how things happen. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. This will be a three-part series. So this is part one, uh, which is the first scene, which is gonna be out in the woods. And then the next video will be the second scene. The third video will be the last scene and kind of some final thoughts. And there might be kind of a fourth um, bonus video thing I'm thinking about doing. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Today's shoot is out in the woods, outdoors, so it's a lot of natural light. Um, so it's a, it's a real kind of run and gun kit I got going on here. So uh, first thing we're doing is filming with the um, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro put the Polar Pro matte box on top. Um, I've got a cage and handles all over the place. And then I've got the DJI Ronin uh, R2 or RS2 or whatever it is uh, for the running shots in the woods that are gonna be like the Sherlock Holmes effect. Um, if you haven't seen that video on YouTube, go check it out. And then uh, I've got my backpack here full of little things. I use the uh, Wandered Provoke Pack, um, best backpack ever, amazing company. Then I've got my Manfrotto tripod here as my main tripod to hold the Black Magic because, you know, she, uh, she a big girl. So <laughs> uh, I got my Man Light Pavo tube, and um, that's basically it as far as gear. So uh, now I just need to go through the shot list for today for this scene and location and listen to the song, just refresh my memory and kind of remember everything. I basically rem like memorize my shot list before I get out there. Um, but I also keep it on hand just in case. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now he's breaking out. He's breaking out of the ropes. Starts running. Noose. Mask. Dramatic running. <laughs> Faster. Faster. Super dramatic. Slow motion. Real time. Now it's Sherlock Holmes effect. All right, Hugh's gonna be here in uh, 10 minutes. We're gonna carpool to the location. So I'm gonna go find a cart and throw all my crap on it and uh, load up the car. Got my Really expensive fogger. High level production right here. I wore sweatpants this time so I can keep up with you comfortably. Right, yeah. Yep. <laughs> rep after rep. Yeah. All right, so we're on location now. This is the woods that we're gonna be shooting in. We've got our um, little setup here. We've got clothing rack and changing room over there. And uh, I got a little camp set up here. So the sun is actually pretty high still and it's causing some like of those foliage shadows that we don't want. Um, so I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit lower. But in the meantime, Instead of just wasting time sitting around, we're gonna go shoot some like close-up B-roll shots that I can do as inserts in the music video. When we have to cut away or just like fill some time. This is our character right here with the silk head. He's gonna get ready right now and um, he was already set up and uh, we're just gonna go figure out how to make this thing look awesome. So let's do it. That's a great example. It's like, oh dude. <laughs> My fog machine is going off. 
<laughs> Looks like he started a fire over there. So, got the uh, shot list right here. I use Evernote. It's, um, it's like a random notes app, but like, I love it. And so I like color code or color code my, you know, different locations. And so green is the woods. And uh, yeah, so I just check it off here whenever we do a shot. And it syncs from my laptop to here. So I have it on set. Um, yeah, that's how I keep track of shot lists on set, on location. That's how you get it to look more often. <laughs> Oh, dude, oh, looks so it weird. looks sick. <laughs> Art. Art. I actually like that little flow a lot more than I thought I would. This looks amazing, yeah. 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 Well, it's dark, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it went well. Um, the running shot we're gonna have to redo on the pickup day, just because it's uh, not bright enough anymore and the fog, just the wind kept bringing it the wrong way. And then just a couple of technical things with Hugh and I staying together while we're running. Um, this is the most like technical shot of the whole video. So it takes a lot of coordination and everything. So. Um, just one more day and we're going to focus solely on that shot, critique it on the computer and like see what we can tweak on it and um, come back and try it again. Hopefully the weather will be nice again because it was beautiful today. So that's a wrap on day one in the wood scene and we'll do day two in the wood scene and uh, I'll see you guys on set. So a couple days later after reviewing the footage, I realized there were two main issues. The first one being the push-in shot with the gimbal. It was supposed to mimic a smooth dolly push-in shot with a focus pull. But when I tried to pull manual focus while pushing in, it would make the gimbal bob. That's mainly because the black magic with the cage doesn't balance correctly. It's very left heavy, which causes it to be pretty unbalanced already. Then the focus ring on the Sigma 18-35 is really stiff, causing me to have to pull harder making the gimbal move. So that shot was completely unusable and I knew I had to find a fix to make it work. So I totally forgot I bought the whole package from DJI with the wireless focus puller. So I tried to mount it with the cage on the black magic on the gimbal and realized that the gimbal made it too high. So I had to take the cage off completely and Velcro my SSD drive on top of the black magic to make this work. Typically I'd be really annoyed about that because I like to shoot with the cage and handles handheld, but this shoot, we had no handheld shots. Plus this meant that the running shot with the gimbal was gonna be more balanced instead of left heavy, which would make for a better shot anyway. The second issue we ran into was the running shot and the fog or not being able to cover the area that we were running in in the woods. The first shoot day, the breeze was really unreliable, causing the fog to go random directions every time we filmed. So after some Googling and YouTube, I found a DIY fogger using mosquito fogger with mineral oil in it that creates a portable fogger that you can bring anywhere and it runs off propane, making it really easy to use. So I went over to Home Depot, went to the garden section, found the mosquito stuff, and uh, when I was there, I saw this awesome Ryobi battery operated fogger. I figured it was safer than propane since it ran off batteries and it looked a lot better too. So I grabbed it and went to Publix, grabbed some mineral oil and went back home to test it out. Update. This does not work. So after that not working out, I went back to Home Depot, back to the garden section and back to the insect foggers and grabbed the one that everyone said worked. Grabbed a propane tank, got home, and put this together and tested it out. After sort of reading the instructions and safety warnings, I went to the parking garage of my apartment complex, lit it on fire, let it heat up for two minutes, and tried it out. And it definitely works. It started fogging like crazy, and I kind of panicked a little bit. So those were the two main issues I ran into and my two solutions for them. So now it was time just to test it out and see if it actually paid off. All 
tomorrow is day two on the wood scene. We're gonna do some pickup shots here and uh, just kind of clean up the first shots we got. Basically redoing the main two shots. All the B-roll shots we got last time are beautiful though, so we're keeping those. Um, again, super sunny day. Uh, it's very spotty out there. He was setting up over there and I'm gonna see uh, if this fogger thing I made works. It's a moment of truth if all that hard work is worth it. All right, so you can see it's already kind of coming out on its own, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna test it out in the woods and see if it fills it up. Maybe. Come on, girl. This is working really well. All right. I mean, I need to put more oil in it, I think. But that's great flow. I mean, like, it's consistent and it might look great. Bye everybody. All right guys, that's a wrap for the wood scene. Two days, the fogger was semi-successful. I ended up using my other fogger because the wind was consistent. Either way, it's gonna be useful in the future. We tried it, it worked. Um, the shots look amazing. We did have a guy on the street slow down and video us with his phone. So like, hopefully that doesn't come back to us and like, you know, bite us in the butt. Be careful if you're shooting in woods and places that you don't know if you're technically allowed to be. And uh, just be respectful, make sure you clean up and leave it the way you found it or better. That's our rule, we leave it better. So if there's trash, we always pick it up. That's it uh, for scene one. So I'll see you guys in the part two video. I'm breaking this up into three videos where I'll take you behind the scenes in each scene. There's three main scenes in this music video. So um, first one's done and it feels good. And the next ones are gonna be way more epic than this one. This was very simple and straightforward. So get ready for that, get pumped. Um, I'll see you in the next one.